Highness Laxio Jeff Spain King's Kid Let's get it There's no greater love, love than that from above. When you shine your love on me, I can't get enough. Can't get enough. Love this feeling. Your love brings me healing. From that emptiness was an empty space, but you can't. They praise you, they can comprehend. comprehend For the things with you, they do for me, my God, oh My God, oh Give me my love, oh My God, oh No need to pretend, to pretend. Said they try to make me fall, but with you still I stand, still I stand. When I had nobody, you gave me a helping hand Helping, helping hand. And now you're taking Ooh. me higher You take me higher Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. You are tuned into the Me and Miss Jones Show. I'm your host, Miss Jones. Well, hopefully, you all have been having a great weekend. I know that I have. Started it all off on Thursday. I performed some comedy at the Perfect Smoke. Shout out to F. William Samuel, who always puts on a great show. I shared the stage with him. Rated G, Harris Stanton. We had a great time. Shout out to my girl Tiffany and my moms who came out to support. And then on Friday, I celebrated my sister's birthday, Tanya Jones. Happy birthday again. We went out to Delta's in New Brunswick, New Jersey. They always do it up. They have live music, great food. We got to see my girl Valerie Adams and the New Dimension Band. And I'm telling y'all, 
She sings her face off, okay? And she is not afraid to let everybody know who she served. She was in there praying and everything. <laughs> Somebody was getting deployed and she had everybody stretch their hands toward him and pray and cover him with the blood of Jesus. So shout out to her. I just love her. She was teaching everybody a new line dance too. <laughs> And then last night I headlined at Gadaletto's in New Paltz. Had a great time out there. Shout out to all the, the comics that performed. Joe Alfano that organized it. Shout out to Donnell, my god unk, <laughs> who came out to support and brought his new boo. <laughs> and of course, moms for coming out to support. So I had a great weekend. Well, y'all, we got a great show today. Great lineup. We got comedian Kenny Wu, 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 Wu. He's gonna come and share his comedy journey and help me spill the tea. And we got Minister Jackie Smith that's gonna be coming on with words of inspiration. We also have Grammy and Stellar Award nominated gospel recording artist Keith Staten. You probably know him from the group Commissioned. He's gonna be coming on. He's got some new music, y'all. We also have Dove Award nominated rapper. Yes, we got a rapper today. Angie Rose. So we got a great show, y'all. Don't go anywhere. Keep it locked right here. Now, you know how we like to do it here at 108 Soul, the soul of New York. I always like to start the show off with some people from BET's Sunday Best. Because here at 108 Soul, our lineup today is called Sunday Best. So we started it all off with Jeff Spain, who was one of the contestants on BET Sunday Best, and that song was called Higher. Next up, we got another contestant, Alexis Spite, with the song Only Jesus. So don't go anywhere, y'all. Keep it locked right here for the whole two hours. <laughs> right here on the Me and Miss Jones Show on 108 Soul, the soul of New York. destiny only Jesus he reigns supreme who made sun the sky and green trees who made the stars out of space and galaxies who holds my fate and the keys to my dreams oh only Jesus he reigns There would be nothing without Christ There'd be no life, no you or me The selfless king who gave his life for free
All right, y'all. You know what time it is. It's birthday time, y'all. That's right. It's the time of the show where we like to give birthday shout outs and say happy birthday to all the people that's having birthdays this week. So we are going to start it all off with some of the celebrities. Tomorrow is rapper Eminem's birthday. He is turning the big 5-0. It's also R&B singer Queen Naja's birthday. She's turning 27. They share a birthday with astronaut Mae Jameson. She's turning 66. You know, in 1992, she was the first African-American woman to journey into space. So shout out to her. It's also rapper Wyclef John's birthday. He's turning 53. And it's Ziggy Marley's birthday, who is turning 54. You know, he's a reggae singer, and he's also the son of Bob Marley. He got his name Ziggy because he got hit with a soccer ball, and he was zigging instead of zagging. <laughs> then on Tuesday, it is singer Neo's birthday. He is turning 43. It's also basketball player Brittany Griner's birthday. She's turning 32. She's still in that Russian prison, so... Keep your head up, girl. Hopefully, you know, they can work that out and get you out of there. And then on Wednesday, we have rapper Little Dirk's birthday. He's turning the big 3-0. On Thursday, we have rapper NBA Youngboy's birthday. He's turning 23. It's also rapper Snoop Dogg's birthday, who's turning 51. And we got a special birthday, the vice president. That's right. Kamala Harris, she is turning 58. H-U, you know, that's right. And it's also going to be Love and Hip Hop New York's Sin Santana's birthday. She is turning the big 3-0. And rapper ASAP Ferg's birthday, who's turning 34. Then on Friday, we got reality star and mogul <laughs> Kim Kardashian. It's her birthday. She's turning 42. And she shares, it's crazy because she, she shares the same birthday <laughs> with model Amber Rose who's turning 39. Now, y'all know, well, allegedly, Kim Kardashian took Kanye West away from Amber Rose, so it's just kind of crazy they have the same birthday. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, I tell you. They shared a birthday with rapper Doja Cat, who is turning 27. Then on Saturday, rounding out the week, we have rapper 21 Savage. He's having a birthday. He's turning the big 3-0. And also rapper Roddy Rich, who's turning 24. We also have rapper Baby Keem, a lot of rappers, <laughs> turning 22. And reggae singer Shaggy, turning 54. It wasn't me, you know that song. He's, he's got a commercial for it for Cheetos, <laughs> so he's doing his thing. So I want to say happy birthday to all of those people and anyone else that's having a birthday this week. Go on out, have some fun. Don't just look at the four walls unless you got people coming in and look at the four walls with you. Get on out and have some fun. So we want to play the birthday dance because, you know, here on the Me and Miss Jones show, we don't want to just sing to you. We want you to get on up on this one and do the birthday dance with us. And keep it locked right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones, on 108 Soul, the soul of New York.
my birthday Follow my lead and make it your birthday Sunday morning from 8 to 10 on the Me and Miss Jones show on 108 Soul, the soul of New York. for that move, y'all. Uh, I was gone with that move. Give me another round of applause. I ain't know what I... I forgot it was a comedy show. You ain't seen that... <laughs> oh, I'm happy to be here. My name is Comedian Kenny Wu and Comedian Felony. Comedy saved me. I've been home nine years. Give me a round of applause, y'all. Y'all, everybody got that family member. Come on, people, you know that be messing up. It's just that I was messing up at a high rate. Nah, five different felonies. Been upstate five different bids. Five to 15, two to four, three to six, one and a half to four and a half, four to eight. They was killing me, what? They caught me so much, I ain't even got a record. I got an album. Tan me up. Y'all laughing. My mother's Jamaican and my father's American, so I'm from two islands. I'm from the Caribbean island and Rikers Island. Show some love. Show some love. I ain't never going back to jail. (laughs) See, I came here but 32 stops on the A train. Give me a round of applause. Dedicated. You know how many stops that was? I don't even call them stops. I call them boom, doom. <laughs> boom, doom. I'm boom, doom out getting here. He ain't tell me it was 32 of them. But I made it, though. I ain't even gonna lie. All right. That was comedian Kenny Wu. 
You've seen him at the Apollo Theater, Levity Live, Gotham's Comedy Club, Broadway Comedy Club, Stand Up New York, Salsa Con Fuego, and many more places. He's on flyers all the time. So I want everybody to show a lot of love and welcome my first guest, Kenny Wu. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> How you doing this morning? I'm doing fine this morning. I'm doing good. Excellent. Did you have a show last night? Yeah, yeah. I went to Smokey, uh One Man uh, Show, One Foot Out Together. It's our special. Oh, nice. He was shooting this hour special. Where was that at? At Comedy in Harlem. Nice shout out to Comedy in Harlem. Ow, yeah, ow. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's fire right there. Okay. So you also, you always um, share your testimony on stage. You, you're just yourself. You talk about how you've been locked up and how comedy saved you. So how did comedy save you? That's comedy saved me because I was in and out of prison. And then once I got into comedy and started doing shows and everything, you know, I ain't been back to jail in, what, 17 years, so I always say comedy saved me. Wow, so you started doing comedy while you were locked up? No, 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 I did comedy before I was locked up, and then I caught a case, and I had went back to jail. That was the last one I did, I think it was 2002, I had caught a conspiracy case with okay. 27 co-defendants so. on Okay, so then after yeah. that, you just like got, like, really serious with the comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you writing a book too about how comedy yeah. saved you. So tell us about this book. Oh, the book is um the name of the book is uh, yeah, Comedy Saved Me is about, you know, for my uh, journey from when I was little and everything and how I was in the streets and how I was selling drugs in and out of prison because I did five state bids and, and a few violations. They talk about all the stuff how I was, you know, selling drugs, how I was a robber robbing people because they call me woo because i used to run with a little bad group called woo woo boys so okay. and everything is in the book yeah wow so you got that name from the woo woo boys but you also have another name that you use on stage comedian felony yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when do you use like you go back and forth or just like a aka aka <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I use comedian friendly because i come out with gel greens on sometimes with a with my green cut with the handcuff on with the whole gel outfit with the sneakers the prison suit on and everything and then that's when i call myself comedian felony okay got it yeah yeah got it got it Okay, so now I know you also used to break dance, so sometimes you'd be on stage break dancing. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, 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 that's my younger days. Hilarious, hilarious. I love it. Now, I know that you also auditioned for the the New Kings of Comedy uh, for mm -hmm. Comedy Central, and you got really far down the line. So how was that coming? Did you find out? Did you make it? What's the status on that? Yes, I had everything went good. I made it. I made it through. Right now, we just waiting to, um, for them to get back and contact me and see um how they gonna do it whether they gonna fly me out to Atlanta or whatever okay but I already went through the interview so everything went good all right well congratulations one of the new kings of comedy you. that's what I'm talking Thank about you. you always out here doing it to you every time I look you are on a flyer like how do you <laughs> how do you stay so busy I know that you know you're very likable on stage so people love you but you know how you getting all these bookings <laughs> uh, like you said a lot of people like me and I've been around for a long time I didn't been on TV yet but you know I'm, you know I didn't been doing a lot of shows and a lot of the kings that that's that's in the comedy game a lot of my brothers and sisters took a liking to me so they they, they booked me and you two mainstream rooms and hood rooms and everybody can't do that yeah, so yeah, what's, I do mainstream that. yeah how do you how, what's the secret sauce to that because everybody can't do both uh me myself is i know how to turn off that you know that that bad language and all that you know cursing mm -hmm. and stuff so mm -hmm. i'm able to do kid functions church functions and uh i just don't laugh i just don't do you know with all that cursing and all that nasty and everything everything just be you know good 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 comedy i say good clean comedy i say yes yes so you also you're also an actor you did mm -hmm. the, um, the movie Chicken, and it's out on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, tell us, and, and Tubi as well. Tell us about your character there. Can people still see it now? 
Yes, yes, you can go to YouTube and uh and the movie is on there. My character is, is I'm um my sister, I'm playing her at her uh, brother and she messing with a drug dealer. And uh he real vicious, he hit on her, he treat her bad and everything, and I was trying to tell her she should mess with him and stuff and I want him to get beat up and everything because he confronts me and he have his crew with him and everything so you see me get knocked out in the movie okay. it is really good good experience okay all right well we're gonna spill some tea you ready to spill some tea with me uh-huh all right so first we're gonna play another one of your comedy clips and then we're gonna come back and spill some tea all right all right, so y'all don't go anywhere. I'm hanging out with my boy, comedian Kenny Woo Woo. <laughs> so keep it like right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones and Kenny Woo. And the reason I've been home so long, I got me a good woman. You get you a good woman, you ain't going back to jail. I got me a Jamaican girl. What? I like her. She be having that Eastern Parkway glitter in her face for no reason that night. <laughs> Scan me. I said, it ain't Juve. Yeah. But I like it though, because she could cook. Come on, you get a good woman that could cook, you ain't going back to jail. Look at all these good cooks. Good cook, good cook, good cook. Mom, it look like you put five different cheeses in your macaroni. Good cook. Come on now, that's a good cook. But my Jamaican girl's too good. The other night she cooked curry goat, curry fish, curry chicken, curry stew, curry steak, curry cake. But in the morning she got carried away. Yeah, she came with curry eggs, curry toast, curry bacon, curry jelly. I looked at her and said, stop! They gonna carry me to the hospital messing with you. I like curry, but you getting carried away. She messed me up so bad, I ain't want nothing to do with curry. Why you think I started off slow? I stopped practicing on my karaoke. I was all messed up. No, I'm speeding, because I still use curry lotion. That's good upon... You ever use curry lotion? That's good upon the skin. I ain't gonna lie. Mess with that curry. What? Love my little Jamaican girl. And if you notice, know bro, I love my black people. But one thing I know, clothes don't make us. We make the clothes. Clap to that. Don't be materialistic. Don't be materialistic. That's right. And all that fashion. Everybody wanna buy name brand stuff. What? I bought this t-shirt from Dills for $4. Give me a round of applause. I ain't grown. I ain't got time for that. I looked inside the window, it was on a mannequin like this. <laughs> what? With $4.99? I said, give it here. I walked away with the whole mannequin. I, said, I paid for him. <laughs> well, I got bills to be paid. I can't be buying all that fashionable stuff. You know that, right? That was comedian Kenny Wu. And I'm hanging out with comedian Kenny Wu. Hey. <laughs> oh, man, that was too funny. All of that curry. <laughs> Don't get carried away. <laughs> All right. So you ready to spill some tea with me? Yes, I'm ready. What kind of tea do you drink? Uh, I drink green tea. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like Lipton decaffeinated, but today we're going to spill some holy tea. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure. All right, so the first story is about Nicki Minaj. Now, she already, we talked about her last week getting into foolishness, and here she go again with more uh. girl drama. So uh. Nicki and Lotto are beefing now. So you you know Lotto, they used to call her Mulatto, and now they call uh. her Lotto. They both two great rappers representing yeah, the ladies, yeah. but now they beefing. So Nicki Minaj's song "Super Freaky Girl" will compete yeah. in pop categories for the Grammys. So her mm -hmm. team submitted it for rap categories. So she's real upset about it. So she tweeted that "Big Energy" that's Lotto's song should be reclassified mm -hmm. as well. So Lotto didn't mm -hmm. like that. She like, why are you bringing me in it? So Lotto messaged her, and she said she agreed with the argument, but don't bring her name and her song in it to prove a point. So Nikki mm. shared the screenshot and called Lotto a Karen and a scratch off. <laughs> wow. and didn't show her public support. It's like, okay, so you gonna DM me and say I'm, I'm I got a good argument, but you ain't you know say that publicly. So Lotto yeah. replied saying that Nikki's a bully who's older than her mom because you know Lotto's twenty three and Nikki's thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yes, yeah, like <laughs> So she said. So Nikki said Lotto 
looks like she pushing 40. And she's begging her. She was begging her for a feature. She has ghost riders. And she gets spray tans to look more black. So, uh-huh. and <laughs> that crazy? It's like, okay, well, she, yeah. you know, she black. She half black. She, you know. So, mm-hmm. Lotto accused Nikki of associating with sexual predators and called her a super freaky grandma. Because, you know, Nikki's husband, <laughs> you know, he, he got a sex violation or whatever when it was locked up for that. And her brother, too. So, Nikki hey. clapped back. You know, she clapped back and was like... Um, Big Energy was produced by Dr. Luke, who Cash is accused of sexual abuse. So, I mean, mm. they just been going at it back and forth. Nikki deleted some of her stuff, but Lotto kept all hers up. So, what do you think about well, this beef? <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, what I think about the beef is just like, you know, the old female, Little Kim versus Foxy Brown. You know, the, the female comments are always battling. Yeah. You know, but I think she shouldn't do that, though. You know what I'm saying? Bring Lotto in to prove a point, you know. A lot of people do that, you know, where they always drag somebody else in to prove a point. You don't need me to prove your point, so. I know that's right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's not good, you know. Right. If you want to prove your point, just prove your point. Why you got to bring my song and me in right. just to prove your point? So mm-hmm. I didn't that. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what's crazy is... Um, huh? You know, Mariah Carey is down with Lotto. You know, she sings on the song. And um, mm-hmm. Nikki and Mariah had beef, too. That's, you know, when they were doing the American Idol a few years ago and they were both judges. Mm-hmm. And Mariah was like, she, you know, she didn't enjoy her time there because she was beefing with Nikki. So it's like, wow. it's almost like a whole thing of like kissing the ring. You know what I mean? Yeah. She, mm-hmm. she wants Lotto to kiss the ring, but she ain't kissed the ring for Mariah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, and you know Mariah, big dog too. She's been around. Yes, still hitting those uh-huh. notes. Yes, yeah, she is. So the next story is about genuine. So now this is a crazy uh-huh. one. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all so, laughing already. Oh my <laughs> god, it's crazy. So uh-huh. genuine, you know, he's a singer, R and B singer. He passed mm-hmm. out. While rehearsing underwater an underwater magic stunt with Magic with the Stars, so it's his new show, and he's yeah. over there now. He's fifty-one years old. He ain't uh-huh. in his twenties no more. So he became unconscious after he dunked himself underwater while holding his breath in a glass box with heavy chains on the outside. I ain't trying to do none of that. You trying to do any of that? You got chains on you under some water. The devil's alive. The devil is alive. So they pulled him out of the water mm-hmm. after being submerged in there in the cube for 10 seconds. So he came wow. out gasping for air and staff mm-hmm. members carry him and laid him on the ground and they called the paramedics. So yeah. he has had a full recovery. He's, you know, on Instagram letting everybody know he's okay and everything. But basically he was trying to conquer a fear. So he had the fear of being underwater and he Uh couldn't hold his breath longer than 15 seconds before trying to stun out. So if you know you Uh couldn't do it, like, won't you keep practicing and not be under the water? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. And the crazy thing is he failed in the rehearsals and he still went ahead with the stunt on the show. (laughs) Uh How you feel in the rehearsals and still do it? Who does that? Who does Uh that? And you ain't 20 no more. So, yeah. So, what you think about all this foolishness? <laughs> oh, that, that's hilarious. He should have known black people don't get in the water anyway. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> uh, I thought you was going to see he was dancing under there. <laughs> <laughs> Had a better chance doing this, this dance stuff. Okay, sing it, do a something. I, I just I yeah. don't get it. I, water ain't for us. Water ain't for us. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. You know what they say. <laughs> oh man. So we got a lot of divorces. So this one really, really shocked me. So Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill mm-hmm. are getting divorced. So we know mm-hmm. Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, uh-huh. you know, she married Mike Hill and they only been married for two years. They got married on 10, 10, 20. I love that. During mm-hmm. the pandemic. So, mm-hmm. you know, pandemic they got. Well. Yes. So the reason is they say that they're growing apart. So they put out a joint statement and I'm like, they put out this joint statement on Wednesday. I just how do you grow apart in only two years? You know, you usually hear that from people that have been married like 20 years or something like that. Yeah. Grow apart in just two years. So they met 
in 2018, Steve Harvey hooked them up. And then um, November 2021, um, you know, they got married in 2020. November 2021, hey. there was an an anonymous Twitter user claimed that he sent her flirtatious messages and a peen pic via Snapchat. So, oh. Yeah, so I, I kind of figured that he was probably cheating because he has admitted to cheating on his exes before. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So they both denied it that, you know, that, that he did this. So then... Mm. Um, in 2021, she had also left the Real Housewives of Atlanta to protect her marriage. She didn't want it, you know, them to be seen on TV all the time because she yeah. was married before to Peter Thomas. And we got to see, you know, everything that they were going through, all their business. So she said she wanted to protect this marriage, this marriage. Mm. She was married to Peter from 2010 to 2017, pretty much the whole time she was on the Housewives. So um. I don't know what you think. You think he cheated? I can't really say that, say that, you know what I'm saying? But I, I hope he didn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, you a man. You a man. You say, yeah, look, you try to, you a man. What you trying to say about us men? From the male perspective. You a man now. I got it. <laughs> From the male perspective. You men out there. I feel like he cheated. I really do. And I hate he to say it, but I really though. do. Because why would she just get rid of him? She loved him. Uh, they should have went to a marriage counselor and try to work it out. Um, okay. What you think? I think he cheated. I think she was like, I'm about to drag this <laughs> you don't out. You the benefit of the doubt or nothing. You just, I think he cheated. I mean, I feel like, you know what? He needs to come out and be like, I didn't cheat because, okay, so Tia Mary and her husband, Corey Hardrick, we know her from Sister Sister. They're getting mm-hmm. a divorce after 14 years. She filed for a divorce last yeah. Tuesday, and he came out and uh-huh. he said, I did not cheat. <laughs> so I'm going to need Mike he, Hill to he, do the same thing. It is. Yes. <laughs> so they got married in 2008, and they have two kids, and fans are telling him to go get his wife. Mm-hmm. So I wonder what he going to do. Yeah. But we got another divorce too. Singer Miguel, and I love his music. He sings so well. Wow. Yes. You know Miguel, right? Uh huh. So his wife, her name is Nazanin. <laughs> I hope I'm saying mm. it right. Mandy. So she filed for divorce. They're both only 36 years old, and she cited mm-hmm. that they have irreconcilable differences. Now they have a prenup. So she's asking. Uh-huh that the assets and properties be divided as detailed in the prenup. So Mm. they separated in 2021 and then they reconciled in February. We thought that, you know, they were going to stay together. Everything was good. They've been together Mm -hmm. 17 years since they were teenagers. That's a long time, right? Before he was famous. So they dated for 10 years. They got engaged in 2016 and they got married in 2018. So I think he cheated too. (laughs) <laughs> you think everybody cheated you ain't get nothing. I'm just saying <laughs> like okay come on That's y'all been together since y'all were teen y'all might have been y'all yeah, yeah. we were for each other you famous now I don't um, know what you think yeah he might have cheated I mean uh, uh, one thing I say they kept that prenup at least they smart about that yes. they make sure nobody take each other money I, that's it, right that's right. I don't know if she worked or not. I really don't know anything about her. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, she going to get something in that prenup. I know that yeah, prenup don't yeah. say zero. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, she said don't I'm gonna say zero. I'm going to need this amount for, for cooking. I'm going to need uh-huh. this amount for cleaning. What you want to <laughs> You want cooking and cleaning? Cooking money? and cleaning. Yeah. That's worth uh-huh. something. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. Right. duties. <laughs> I oh, don't know. I'm sure they probably got maids and everything for that, but you know. <laughs> now See, this, like everybody get a divorce. Isn't it crazy? It's like mm-hmm. the devil is attacking the family. I tell you. Yeah, it is. Yes, but it's another couple that we think may be getting a divorce. It's mega uh-huh. mega star couple, Tom Brady. And Brazilian fashion model Giselle, I don't know how to say her last name. I want to say a uh, bunch of. Yeah. So they have obtained divorce attorneys. So now they mm. haven't filed. They haven't said that they are. But come on, you don't retain a divorce attorney. So That's they've right. been married for thirteen years. They've been living separately for the last few weeks. Now um, you know yeah. he retired and then he went back to work. Mm-hmm. I think he did yeah, not like yeah. being at home with her. Yeah, that's why, that's why he went right back to the mm. football field where he comfortable at. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I got to go back to work. <laughs> I got to get out the house. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That was a smart move. Okay. So what you think? I'm I'm not gonna say he cheated. I'm not gonna say that on him. I think you know maybe they so used to him. You know he's so used to not being home a lot, and now he home, and it's like this is too much for me. I don't know what you think. Yeah, it could be that. It could be he cheated. Oh, know. look, see, there is a lot of them cheerleaders <laughs> around him. That is true, and a lot of groupies, a lot of groupies. <laughs> and he the ghost, one of the greatest of all time. They probably throwing panties at him. Right, right. But the thing is, you got a bad chick at the house. You got a Brazilian fashion model. Like, yeah, hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens on that. We're gonna keep following the story. So, what upcoming events do you have? Oh, I got my um birthday comedy show and comedy in Harlem coming November twelfth. Uh, the doors open 9.30 and they start 10 o'clock. That's 508 East 117th Street. You know, black-owned comedy business. Shout out to Jamie and uh, Nick Sunshine. Yes. Yeah, so I'm doing my kind of, my next show will be there. But I'm doing a cancer awareness show in Long Island, too. You know, comedy for a cause. Oh, that's Some nice. of the proceeds on the breast cancer awareness. Yeah, because you know there's breast cancer awareness amongst us. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Always got to get mm-hmm. back. So That's give everybody right, your man. social media, your website, all of that. Yes, I'm Comedian Wu One on Instagram, C O M E D I A N W O O, the number one. Comedian Wu One on Instagram. On Facebook, is, that's my twin comedian felony. C O M E D I A N F E L O N Y, felony. Comedian felony. And I'm on Facebook as Comedian Wu One, too. All right. Well, I appreciate you getting up with me. I know you had a, a show last night, so thanks for getting uh, up, sharing your yeah. journey, helping me spill the tea. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me on the Miss Jones show. I'm yes, good. I appreciate you. All right, you have a great day. We'll talk right, soon. God bless. All right. All right, that was comedian Kenny Wu, aka comedian felony. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into some new music. This one is called My Mind's Made Up. It's by Darius Brooks and the Tommy's Reunion. Keep it locked right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones, on 108 Soul, the soul of New York.
What's up, y'all? Make sure you tune in every Sunday morning from 8 to 10 to the Me and Miss Jones Show on 108 Soul, the soul of New York. y'all welcome back you tuned into the me and miss jones show i'm your host miss jones all right we're ready for our next guest this next guest is coming all the way from ohio (laughs) make sure you give him a warm welcome it's elder jackie smith good morning good morning miss jones good morning how are you today I am blessed. God is so good. All and the I time. Thank every mo- you know, every morning I wake up, I say, Lord, I just want to thank you. <laughs> I know that's right. Every day that you wake up, 
is a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. You yes, on this side is. of the dirt, it's a good day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I got a lot of love for you and your family. Your mother and my grandmother were the best of friends. Oh, yes. 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 So, yes, we used to always go out to Ohio. I remember all those revivals. We used to be shouting and everything all over the place. <laughs> you know it. Yes. So, I've <laughs> known you all of my life. <laughs> yes. I, I remember we, we would come to Newburgh. Oh, my goodness. That was, a, that was a, first of all, it's a long trip. Yes, it Newburgh is. Yes, it then, is. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a time after we got there, and your family was my family. Yes. yes Mother Bowman. Yes. 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 <laughs> I love all of y'all. All yes. right, so we're going to have some fun today, yes. <laughs> so now All you right. have been a member of your church, the original Glorious Church, since 1960. <laughs> Whew, that's a long time. 62 <laughs> years? Yeah, uh... Miss Jones, when I, my family left West Virginia in 1960 and we moved to Columbus, Ohio. That was my, um, that was my first time coming to Columbus. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were, she would, uh, had become a member of the original Glorious Church. Mm -hmm. And so but naturally when I came to Columbus, I joined the church. Mm -hmm. And right now it's been like 62 years and I believe right now I'm the oldest member in standing at the church at this time. Wow. And you're only 63 because you were one when you got there, right? Oh. <laughs> you was a baby. <laughs> so God called you into the ministry, called you in 1991. You got licensed in 1994 and ordained in 2001. So that's, yes. a long two, that's a long time too, you know, preaching that word. I know you just it's, an expert. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing. You know, you you have to do what, uh, you know, like most preachers say, no, nah, this ain't something I wanted to do. Mm. But when God speaks to you, you got to listen to the voice of the Lord and do what you supposed to do and you got to do. Amen. <laughs> All right. It's so I want, oh, go ahead. No. That's, okay. That's, you know, we're just following the leading of the Lord. Amen. Amen. All the time. So I want you to do some words of inspiration. So what we do is we like to have somebody come on and give us some good word because a lot of people have not made it back to church since the pandemic. You know, they might just be doing things that they have to do, like go to work and go to the grocery store. Or maybe, you know, people have gotten comfortable just, you know, watching church on TV and on the Internet. So I always try to bring the word to the people. So what did God put on your heart to bless the people with today uh, my my saying today is we're gonna be like we have the faith of the woman with the issue of blood you know so many people right now are going through sickness mm -hmm. you know there's cancer there's uh people with dementia and all that but in in mark uh 524 it tells about the woman with the issue of blood mm. you know this this one with the she had we know that she had experienced terrible pain during her illness mm -hmm. you know because she suffered for 12 long years mm -hmm. but the, her faith was if i could only reach jesus mm. now i ain't got to look in i ain't got to look in his face mm. i ain't got to be hooked up on him she said but if i could just only get in the a reach of what I can just touch mm -hmm. just the hem of what he's wearing mm. you know and that is faith you know that is totally faith we got to believe as we go through this journey this sickness uh, maybe you have lost a job uh, different things that's happened in our life but we got to put our faith in God that Lord, whatever I'm standing in the need of, you are able to supply my every need. And when we put ourselves in that position and then connect with God and believe in God and believe that he will do just what he said he will do, you will see a difference in our lives. Amen. And I believe that as long as you got faith to believe, you got a chance to exceed and get whatever you stand in need of. But believe that it will happen. Amen. Don't let nobody bring, 
and, and Ms. Jones, I tell people all the time, don't let people speak nothing negative into your life. Mm. It will mess up with the goal that you are trying to reach. Mm. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Amen. So I want you to pray as well. Um, there's a few prayer requests that I have that I, I want you to pray about. So comedian and actor Kevin Hart, um, his father passed away recently. So I just oh, want to yeah. pray for him and his family. And, you know, of course, hopefully, you know, his dad knew Jesus. And also Nene Leakes from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, she used to be on it. Her son, Brent, um, he's only 23. And he recently had a stroke. And um, he also had um, heart failure two weeks ago. And he's um, recovering. He's still struggling to speak. But, you know, just pray for his health and that, you know, he makes a full recovery. So and anything else that, you know, God has on your heart, of course, pray for the show, pray for the radio station and everything and whatever else God has on your heart. OK, shall we pray at this time? Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, you know what was going to happen at this hour and at this time. Lord, you, we are grateful and we're thanking you for this great woman of God and the show that she has on the air to reach out to the people. Lord, oh God, there are some people that are not going out, but they will sit and, and listen to what you are uh, saying through this woman and to the people that is coming on this show and lord for the father who passed them lord we want we're praying for that family in the name of jesus lord we know that you're able to bring comfort to the family Amen. Oh God, we want you to lift up the bow down heads. Let them know that the losing of loved one is a great thing. Lord, we lost our father. Our father went on to glory after 97 years here on earth. And oh God, it took us great time to get past it. Lord, there are times where we moan, but people cannot tell you how long you are to moan. But oh God, we want you to touch Kevin and his family in the name of Jesus yes, and for the son who had a stroke. Lord, we want you to touch that family. Lord, we want you to reach out and touch him. As yes. we said in our opening statement of the woman with an issue of blood. Yes. Oh God, you healed her right at that moment. Because the Lord made a statement and said, who touched me out of all the people that was in that group? The woman had faith enough to just to touch the hem of his garment. And oh God, as the son who had a stroke, uh, oh God, you are able to raise him up. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, God, Lord. we know that you are able to do all things but fail. Yes. And Lord, as the people that are on the air this morning are listening and they are going through whatever they are going through, whatever they need, oh God, we pray that you are able to reach out to each and every one of them online on this morning. In the name of Jesus, yes, the one Lord that Jesus. may have lost a family member, family member, one that may be in the hospital, one that may be in a nursing home. But, oh God, you are able to go out to each one of these areas and touch. In the name of Jesus, name we of believe. Jesus. We believe. In the name of Jesus, we pray and continue to touch Miss Jones as she continues to serve you on Sunday morning with this great radio program. Amen. These things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. And before we end this prayer, oh God, continue to touch Mrs. Jones' mother. Hallelujah. Great supporter of her. Amen. Lord, we know that you're able to keep all of us in the help and the peace that we need. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for that wonderful prayer. Now, are you still the minister of music at your church? I'm, I stepped down from the title okay. of minister of music, but I am still ministering there on the organ every Sunday morning. Yes, yes. Right now, it's, it's, I can say it's been 62 years. Okay. Um, Doing this great service. Did you pass it on to your nephews? <laughs> oh, girl, let me tell you. Because um, <laughs> I know you be my, training them. <laughs> when my, my boys, uh, my son, I got two sons, 
and my nephews, they were young. Uh, I would bring them on the organ stool, one one at a time, mm-hmm. on the organ stool, and I would teach them one note, one one note at a time. Mm-hmm. And now they are <laughs> they push me off the organ. <laughs> Jermaine, Jermaine, my youngest son, he uh-huh. plays. Uh, he is on recordings with Israel New Breeds. Okay. Uh, and, He's within with Aaron Lindsay, mm-hmm. and you know he's done great music for uh, for quite a few other the great artists. Okay, and my son and my son Jackie Jr. Uh, he's uh, minister music at at his church, and then my nephews they all are minister of music at different churches. One goes to my church, uh-huh. Michael. Michael, shout out yes, to Michael. But, <laughs> but they all they all great. Yes, musicians. that is so awesome, <laughs> Trey. You trained them up young, but you also yes. used to sing professionally for eight years. You played piano for Shirley Caesar. They shared the stage with Hezekiah Walker, the Mississippi Mass Choir. You sang with the Resurrection Mass Choir, recorded with Yolanda Adams, Rance Atlin, and the Williams Brothers. So I um I am gonna play one of the songs from the Resurrection Mass Choir before you go. But um yeah, I, I you 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 did your thing touring all over <laughs> yes we um i was with resurrection for i think like about nine years okay and um it was a great experience with keith dobbins yes oh uh, man he's a great they have probably heard of him keith dobbins mm-hmm. he was a great great singer great talented musician and um we had three re- i think i was on three recordings with them mm-hmm. um Melvin Williams sung, I know it was the blood. Uh, Yolanda Adams, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, Rance Allen was with, with Rance Allen, precious Lord, and mm-hmm. go tell it. And But the, the most uh, famous song we had was, Oh Church, Do You Have It? Mm. And before we, um, I left the group, we had a chance to tour London, England, London, England on the Feel Me Tour. That okay. was the album title, Feel mm. Me. Okay. And but God has blessed us, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Jones. And Ms. Jones, I give Ms. God Jones. all the praise. <laughs> you yes, know I Ms. ain't Jones. married yet. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jones. <laughs> yes. Did I say did I say Miss Rose? Miss. You said Mrs. <laughs> you know I ain't married yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I give God to, to, to you know all praise for what he has allowed me to do. Amen. In my, it, yes, I think I give God all the praises. When you gonna put some <laughs> solo music out? You gonna put any solo music out? Well, I do a lot of singing with the church, mm-hmm. and um, I sit, you know. But uh, I've been asked to do it, and you know, I, I <laughs> we'll see. We'll son, see. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we'll keep following. Push, <laughs> you know, my son's pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> But this singing is is what I I praise it is what I do. I love it. Amen. So do you have any upcoming events that you're gonna be on where you're gonna be preaching or anything? Uh another time we, I was at a um I was at a reception last night for one of our great uh pastors in town and I had to perform on that on that program. Mm-hmm. But uh as of right now, um um well, we don't have nothing just scheduled. Okay. Just upcoming, yes. Uh-huh. Well, why don't you invite people to church? Y'all got service today? Yes, service today. Um, I'm a member of the original Glorious Church of God in Christ, uh, 2030 Joyce Avenue. My pastor is Dr. Bernita Wright, and our service starts at, our Sunday school starts at 10, and our morning worship begin, begins at 11.30. And we probably starts at eleven thirty. And if you want a blessing, this is the place to come to be. And to hear the great word of God from our pastor is awesome. Amen. So and this is in, in Columbus, area, Ohio. In Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> come to Columbus. Come on Columbus. over to Columbus. <laughs> it ain't snowing yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, give everybody your social media information, your website, all that good stuff. I'm, I'm at Jackie Smith. I'm at uh, my email is twenty um, Jackie dot Smith nineteen forty three at yahoo dot com, and I'm on Facebook Jackie Smith Senior. Uh, so 
Okay, you can hit me up and I'll and I'll hit back at you. <laughs> <laughs> you can hit you up, okay. <laughs> well, I sure appreciate you coming on. Give my love to everybody out there. Elsa May, we miss her out here in New York. <laughs> Hopefully she's readjusting Ohio out there. But um yes, tell Bobby and Michael, everybody I said hi. I sure will. And your wife. Sure <laughs> yes. All yes. right. We love you. We love you. And it's been a pleasure of being with you on this Sunday morning. And to the audience and online, God bless each and every one of you. And whatever you're going through, God is able to take you through. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yes, you too. All right. Bye bye. Bye-bye. All right. That was Elder Jackie Smith all the way from Columbus, Ohio. So I said that we were going to play his music. This song is called Thank You for Your Love. It is by Keith Dobbins and the Resurrection Mass Choir, which Minister Jackie Smith sang on. And it's featuring Yolanda Adams. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Keep it locked right here on 108 Soul, the Soul of New York, on the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones.
All right, welcome back. You are tuned into the Me and Miss Jones show. I am your host, Miss Jones. All right, I was loving that. That was a good throwback. I love my girl Yolanda. <laughs> and it was just great to hear Keith Dobbins and the Resurrection Mass Choir. And of course, featuring Elder Jackie Smith. So shout out once again to him. Well, we are ready for our next guest. Now, this is definitely a treat, y'all. We've been waiting the whole show for him to come on. He is the lead singer from the group Commission, and he also has his own songs. And y'all know Commission, we listened to them for years. They brought us Fred Hammond, they brought us Marvin Sapp, and they brought us 12 albums. <laughs> so he is the lead, y'all. Show a lot of love for my next guest, Keith Staten. Hey. Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Mr. I am Jones, so wonderful. How okay. are you? Oh, I'm blessed this morning, just trying to get it going, get my my voice working and all that. Amen. But, uh, I'm just so happy and grateful to be with you on your beautiful show this morning. Thanks for coming on. You calling in from Florida? Yes, Orlando. 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 How are y'all doing yeah. out there? Because I know you had the hurricane. Did did it hit your area, or did you miss you know, it? it? It's yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. You know, I, I'm, I have to kind of remind myself uh, because in Orlando we didn't really get, but you know, just high winds. But I have mm -hmm. to remind myself when I tell people, "Oh, we're doing great. We're fine." Man, it's people suffering that's closer to the uh, coast. And, uh, you know, it was, it's pretty devastating. So people are going to be for years trying to regroup, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Well, our prayers yeah, are definitely so, with everyone. Yeah, yes. definitely. Keep, keep, uh, keep Florida in your prayers. It's very devastating for many people. And we've been praying and, uh, and just really uh, lifting those families up. But Amen. yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, yes. we didn't have any, no, any kind of, you know, power outages or anything oh like that's that. good that's good so you are one of the original members of commission i know you guys have had some other people that have come yes. and joined the group but you are one of the yes. original so who else is an original member so uh fred hammond mitchell jones carl reed uh, michael brooks and michael williams that's the original six and myself, the original six from back in the day, 82. <laughs> wow, 82. <laughs> 82. Oh, my goodness. Now, how did you all meet? Is everybody from Detroit? Uh, yeah, everyone. Uh, well, Mike Brook is from Connecticut initially, but about time, you know, commission uh, got together in 82. He had been in Detroit, I think, for about two or three years already. But uh, we pretty, the short of that is we all were, you know, doing music, you know, in our churches. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl Reed and I, we grew up in the same church, which was actually my dad's church. Uh, and uh, Mitchell and Fred and Michael Williams, they all grew up together at uh, Greater Grace Temple in Detroit. And Michael Brooks grew up in Detroit in uh, uh, Kojic. So we were all apostolic and then uh, Kojic with Mike Brooks. And so we were all doing music uh, in our churches. And then that evolved into, you know, guys playing for, you know, Fred playing for the Winans and Michael Williams for the Hawkins and uh, Brooks for the Vanessa Bell. And I believe some of the Hawkins at Tremaine and uh, Mike Wright playing for everybody, you know, which was one of our first uh, musicians and actually was a member of the group initially. Um, but uh, yeah, so we were all doing music and God just, you know brought us together uh just just through that scene of being in different groups and meeting and uh hey you know uh, uh just all being together you know in that way saying hey man you got to meet this one and that one and we just mm -hmm. uh came together man and but you know you really look back and it was just god's orchestration yeah you know six young guys like i said on a Another interview, uh, six knuckleheads in Detroit, mm -hmm. man, that God chose. <laughs> God wow. chose to use these young guys, man. And we look back now and say, wow, you know, like really God was, you know, did way more than we could imagine as those young men. I was what, 18 when the group started. Wow. <laughs> 
was 21 when we put our first album out in uh, 85. So, wow. Yeah, so I, that's pretty much how that unfolded. So you all had multiple Grammy and Stellar Award nominations, and you guys were really successful, put out a lot of albums. So now, what made the group just kind of like everybody just kind of go their separate ways and do their solo music? Everybody just wanted to do their own thing? Um, let me see. The, the, the good, sweet answer would be, yeah, everybody just <laughs> wanted to do that. <laughs> but you the know, real answer is. <laughs> but the real deal is. No, I mean, you know, it, 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 we were young and mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, you know, we didn't really have, uh, you know, I think it would have been great to have a mentor mm -hmm. that or some mentor that we all felt comfortable with to say, hey, expect this, expect that. So things came and, uh, you know, I mean, that the first answer you said was basically it. People, we all do have visions and we all have separate ministries. Um, but I, as far as us trying to be on the same page, even to this day, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's like, uh, you know, sometimes just a struggle of, mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, just really the enemy fighting, I think, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, we love each other. I mean, we just did a, you know, a tour back in 19 before the pandemic hit, we were rolling really good and enjoying, we were really enjoying each other. And uh, pandemic hit, closed it down. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. but yeah, back then, uh, you know, it was it was a combination of just being young mm -hmm. and uh, you know, kind of uh, just kind of learning as we were going. Right, but you know that happens to a lot of groups. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's For good sure. that you guys can come back together and tour. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the main. I think that's the important thing. It's not like. You know, I'll never roll with this person. I hate you. You know, it, it's not that. It's, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of getting on the same page. And, and again, like you said, I mean, guys are doing, everyone's doing their great things. We got a lot of great things coming, different individuals. And, and uh, you know, I'm hoping that we'll continue what we started uh, back in uh, 2019 and hopefully do another do another uh, leg of that and you know that type of thing so you have your own solo music out you had your first solo album in 1990 from the heart then you did the no greater love project you were the worship leader on integrity's urban praise albums worship in the house and glory in the house and now you got some new music coming out you got a new yeah. single that came out actually it already came out on friday excited yes. oh now, man <laughs> Tell us about that song. <laughs> you just got me excited. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> excited. No, I mean, I, I'm excited for so many reasons. I mean, because the song itself is amazing. Uh, talking about, uh, you know, you know, the, the excitement that we're talking about is the fact that when we praise God, he'll come in the midst of his people. He'll come into our prayer. He'll join the mm. celebration. Okay. The line in the song that says that, you know, I get excited uh, that you're going to inhabit our praise, show up in this place. I get excited. I anticipate you'll join the celebration of you. Mm. <laughs> so it's a really powerful song written by uh, uh, Christian Bentley, uh, Marcus Cole, uh, and myself uh, kind of joined in. They let me hang out a little bit on the song. But but uh, that's powerful. But I'm excited as well because, man, it's been like 22 years since I put a new project out, you know? It's Amen. been years, and in those years, man, you know, uh, God has just really been able to mold me uh, and shape me and prepare me and, and uh, you know, allow me to go through tests, man, and trials, and, and uh, I believe that uh, it's showing up in, in this project, just in my singing and, and what, you know, the production, what God is doing through my brother Marcus Cole and Kristen Dentley and uh, just how he put us together as a team. So it's so much to be excited about with this song. But uh, yes, it, as you mentioned, it, it came out Friday and we've been getting some really good uh, uh, buzz and just people talking about it on social media and, and enjoying it. So I'm, we're excited about this song. And then, you know, we have another uh, 
you know, subsequent uh, uh, single coming out for Christmas. Mm, then, we love you know, Christmas put another music. One with, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an amazing, amazing song. Trust me, it's amazing. So that'll hit uh, next month. And then we'll put another one out like January, February, probably March, another single, and then put the whole project out after that. So a lot yes. to be excited about. Yeah, I, I, I'm very grateful to God, very humbled that he would use a 58-year-old guy, man, and just, you know, I never stopped ministry. I kept singing and, and things, but as far as putting things out, you know, in the industry, uh, and it's funny, I, I, this is my first time having something out in this new age. Of <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love right. it the game has changed. <laughs> totally, totally changed. The game has changed. Are you yeah, gonna be um? Totally. Are you gonna be uh making some regular CDs? Or are you gonna be like having your drop cards? Like okay, download it digitally. <laughs> That's the game has I changed. Think we're gonna, yeah, we, it, it, yeah. Of course, it's you know available everywhere in the world for digital for streaming and and and, and buying it down digitally. Uh, but we're gonna do some physical copies as well. Mm -hmm. You know, for you know, some people want to. I've already had people say, when do I get the physical? When do I get my Yeah, hands I like something? to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. <laughs> and I am too. I am too. They still I, sell I, I wanna, CD players. I want to touch it. Yeah, so we'll still do that, some of that as well. You know, especially while I'm on the road too, people can actually get a physical copy or, mm -hmm. or going to some of your Christian bookstores and, and some different stores to get it. Yes. Uh, so yeah so the album is coming out 2023 do you have a name for it yet uh we have a a, a possible name of all or nothing mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't totally totally settled on it yet that that could quite be the name all or nothing okay yeah. sounds good but, but sounds it, good I, yeah but as i said we'll just keep dropping amazing singles that we have lined up just ready to go mm -hmm. and then uh you know like and you know probably around april mm -hmm. you know march april mm -hmm. we'll have the whole thing where people can put their hands on it okay and just so you know 58 is not old so don't think that you're old <laughs> you're, not, you're seasoned wait, wait, let me speak you're to that. seasoned <laughs> you, you say, wait a minute let me speak to yes that. So, you have experience no, that's what that is <laughs> no, no. i mean you know i feel so young i'm blessed uh god has given me i mean i feel like i literally have more energy better health now than in my 30s and 40s i mean just god is you know allowing me to eat a certain way work out and all of that but uh you know just just the fact that you know sometimes we're believing for something man and and uh it don't happen in a year two years three ten <laughs> it, mm -hmm. it may take some years but god mm -hmm. is faithful and, yes, and, he is. And, and what he promised he'll do yes he will and in the midst of you He's good even in the midst of your weight. Hmm. You know, it's not like, oh, it's here now I can be happy. No, he'll he'll you'll be blessed and happy during the weight as you get more seasoned in, in God. So, no, I I I feel very young. Fifty eight is young to me, mm -hmm. but it's just you know, uh, I guess I feel like a when I compare how we used to put music out back when I on my last project and now mm -hmm. <laughs> it just like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like a dinosaur right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so excited because we're going to have the whole group commission come on the radio soon. We're getting all the dates together, hopefully next month. I know y'all are dropping some new music as well. And shout out to Marcus Cole for putting all this together, right in your yeah, single. That's, that's, and that's he's part guy, of the group. <laughs> that, yes, yes. And then, right, we talked about we talked about the original guys, but of course, Marvin Sapp came along later. Mm -hmm. Marcus Cole, you know, came along and God just really blessed me to, uh, you know, I didn't sing with Marcus when he first was in the group, but later for the reunion tour. And then, then, uh, God just really connected Marcus and, um, Chris, as I mentioned, Kristen Ditley of Take Six, who also, uh, produced on the project, connected us together and, uh, just working together on some projects, a, a project together a few years ago. And uh, and then on this now, uh, but Marcus, man, yeah, and the label Anamar Music Group, uh, just amazing what God is doing with my brother, and uh, I, I, I'm just excited uh, about what God is doing in our relationship. 
Now, what upcoming events do you have? Because I know you are just all over the place. What, where are you singing next? What you got going on? Uh, my next event will be uh, in about two weeks out in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, yeah, Tucson, Tucson Church International. I'll be doing uh, ministering out there. Uh, then I'll be um, in Chicago, Illinois. Shy town, um, Shy town, yes. <laughs> uh, Pastor Glenn Miller out there in Shy town, and uh, so, so yeah, you know, God is starting to just, you know, send things my way and with this new project. So we're definitely excited about that. All right. Well, give everybody your website information, your social media, so they can follow Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So my, my website is keepstaten.com. Uh, you can go there and get all, you know, scheduling where, where I'm going or even book dates right there from my website. Uh, and just catch up on, 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 uh, what, what's going on, keepstaten.com. And then, uh, it's just keepstaten on IG, on, um, Instagram. It's keepstaten on Facebook. Um, yeah, and that's it. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming on. We will see you soon when when commission comes on in a few weeks. And God bless on your single. Thank you. And we will see you soon. (laughs) Thank you for thank you for having me. And hey to your listeners, love you all. And please go and enjoy excited. Yes. uh, Today. Download it. it. Download it. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's right. Download it. digitally yeah. on all platforms <laughs> all right well thanks again miss jones you I are welcome you. god bless and, uh, bless you, bless you. <laughs> all right that was grammy award and stellar award nominated keith staten from the group commission he has his own music out so we're gonna go ahead and play his music So this is his new single that just came out on Friday. Make sure you go get it. It's called Excited. I'm excited to hear it. And keep it locked right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones on 108 Soul, the soul of New York. Well, well, how y'all doing tonight? Yeah, what's up there, all right? I want to know something. Is anybody as excited as I am tonight? If you are, make some noise. <laughs> yeah, keep it going. Oh, I want to bring to the stage my brother. You know him, you love him, Mr. Keith Staten. Back to you 
All right, y'all. That was Excited by Keith Staten. All right, y'all. It's time to bring our last guest on the line. I'm excited about this guest. That's right. Now, let me give her a proper introduction. She's nominated for a Dove Award in the rap hip-hop album of the year category i'm so proud of her let's give a warm welcome to rapper angie rose hey hey hey, god bless you god bless you good morning how are you doing well how are you i am doing well i just want to say congratulations i am so proud of you congratulations on your nomination for the dove award how did you feel when you heard that you were nominated uh, honestly, I felt humbled and honored. Um, I wrote that that project going through a lot, and just to kind of see that my peers and God would would give me the honor of of this acknowledgement. You know, it was humbling, and I'm just super grateful. Yes, and you are up against some really good people too. You are up against Lecrae, and I mean, he just been dominating the the rap category for a long time. So him and One K Pew have an album. You're up against Trip Lee, who been in the game a long time too. Aaron Cole and Indie Tribe. But what I want to say is that you're the only female representing. We appreciate that you are a female representing hip hop. So what's that like? Um, definitely a blessing. Definitely, uh, like I said, it's really humbling. Um, most of my peers are obviously male, but there's a there's a pretty big group of females that are, you know, trailblazing. I want to say with me, and I'm just honored. Like I said, it's 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 a, a real privilege. So when did you come on the scene? Um, I started about maybe five years ago when I was in college. I uh, ended up going to a studio, and they really helped me build my my beginnings okay all right so cool i know you said that you also started rapping when you were like eight years old too when we were talking <laughs> yeah <laughs> so how did yeah, you well, big, yeah well how did you get started at eight uh well my big brother was super into hip-hop my, mm-hmm. my parents were pastors but my brother was was very into the streets at the time to, to put it lightly mm-hmm. and um i really had both influences but one of the good things that he was doing was writing you know he had his composition notebook and mm-hmm. his, you know his sharpie marker and i wanted to be like my big brother so mm. that's kind of how it went we just started going and he taught me on my first composition books and you know he really took it he helped me uh fall in love with with hip-hop in a organic sense i saw what they were saying i fell in love with the music that was speaking to me like i loved tupac because he he had this song called on my block and mm-hmm. he had a bunch of kids singing mm. and i remember it kind of took me to a place that i had never been emotionally mm. and i fell in love at that point and you know loving jesus i realized that i could use the the same verbiage i didn't have to to curse i didn't have to right speak like what i you know what most hip-hop sounded like um but i could still deliver the same feeling if i gave it to god yeah that's kind of what it became that's beautiful all right so we're going to go ahead and play uh one of your songs so you're nominated for the album unstoppable united we can so i want to play one of the songs from from the album unstoppable so tell us about the album about the song unstoppable yeah So Unstoppable was actually one of the first songs that I ever wrote when I first started making Christian music. Mm -hmm. Um, And this was kind of me after developing and learning what it sounded like and what I what I loved and all the different sounds that I could make. uh, I kind of wanted to go back to that same vision, uh, but with a new sound. And this is what came out of it. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and play it. It's called Unstoppable slash Do It Again. <laughs> and it features Limo Blaze. Now, who is that? Uh, Limo Blaze is actually one of, well, he's from Nigeria. I believe, oh. Him and One Day, which is why I called it the Global Remix. Yeah, he has a ton of hit records, I would say. And, um, you know, just really a love for Jesus that is beautiful and his music to me is has really helped me get through some times and it's just beautiful so i was honored that he said yes okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and play it it's called unstoppable do it again the global remix don't go anywhere y'all we got more of this interview keep it locked right here to the me and miss jones show with me miss jones and angie rose this is unstoppable Up, 
tell them it's time we take it global Let more blaze on one day, send the vocals Been envision my circle inside the oval Drop the pin, I'm in, it's all local Riding with the spirit and I'm making it plain Couldn't make sense, are we making a change? Got to live in what I know, we making it rain Holy fire, we making them play Some Moses, we chosen, we float in the ocean When the water ain't far, we dolphin All knowing how we all do Heaven bound and I'm on my way Gravity. That's fate without sight. My angels on sight. The veil that's in spite. I saw I take flight. <sighs> Feeling unstoppable. We beat the odds, but you call it improbable. Yes, looking insane. The queens is gon' rain and do this in vain. We reppin' y'all way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I like that one. That was Unstoppable by Angie Rose. We have Angie Rose with us. Hey, Angie. All right. I appreciate you coming on. I like that one. <laughs> that, was, that was fire. All right. So I know you are excited about the Dove Awards. You got your outfit all picked out? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what you wearing? Um, it's kind of like a, it, it's some cool like leather pants and a cool uh, jacket, some some st- some UGG boots. It's a you know a, a rapper's outfit. I'm gonna yes, say. yeah. I didn't expect you to go on a gown or anything. You a rapper? <laughs> 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 oh man, I love it. I love it. Now, is this your first award show that you're gonna be going to? Um, no, I've been to a few, and I got to attend last year. I was on the ballot last year. Really. So, yeah, so this is my first time as a nominee, though, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. See, working your way up. Um, the next year, you're going to be performing. How about that? Amen. That's How awesome. about that? So when are you heading out to Nashville? I leave tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yes, the Dove Awards are going to be airing live Tuesday um, on TBN. They have it on, on 8 o'clock and then again at 10 o'clock. Um, who else are you excited to see? Oh, tons of people. I just uh, saw that Stephen Malcolm's going to be performing. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's one of my favorite performers. Um, Social Club will be performing. And, you know, CeCe Winans is going to be hosting. It's, I'm, I'm just very excited. There's a lot of people that I, I've really grown up um, listening to, and I'm going to be able to see. I'm very excited about it. Oh, that's going to be so nice. You're going to have a good time. And, of course, we're going to be praying for you, that you win, that you take it home, representing for the ladies. I love it. So what other events do you have coming up? Well, I'll actually be going to Ecuador for my for the first time in uh, the day after the Doves. Wow. a show called Los Premios Heat. Um, I'm very excited about that. It's actually a secular event, and then they invited Alex Campos, who's a Christian artist, and my, I'll be with him. And we'll be probably one of the only Christians on the entire uh, for the entire day. So we're very excited about that. Okay, you're Puerto Rican, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Well, you're going to have a good time there. I have never been there, so you have to tell me all about it, how you liked <laughs> being in Ecuador. That sounds like fun. So why don't you yeah. share your um, social media and website information with everybody so people can keep up with you? Sure. It's Angie Rose Music, um, and that's music with a K. Angie Rose, M-U-S-I-K. And that's almost literally everywhere. And if you're looking for me on streaming sites, it's just Angie Rose. Love it. All right, so we're going to play some more of your music. We're going to play Light Gold. So tell us about that song. Uh, Light Gold was actually me learning identity and learning value and self-worth and realizing that if somebody, you know, especially in relationships, if somebody wasn't going to treat me like gold, then mm. it's, it's better that I stay alone. Ooh, you talking <laughs> right. Alone, but you know. You young, yeah. but you talking right, girl. You talking right. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I know that's right. Treat me like gold. Well, I appreciate you coming on, and God bless at the Dove Awards on Tuesday. I know I'm going to be watching, and I know you're going to get on that stage and get that award. So Tuesday, 8 o'clock p.m. on TBN, I'm going to be watching. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Yes. All right. Well, God bless. Safe travels. Thank you. God bless you, too. All right, y'all. That was Dove Award nominated gospel rapper Angie Rose. She's been nominated for that Dove Award, and we're going to definitely support her and watch her on Tuesday. This Tuesday, it's going to be airing live on TBN. So let's go ahead and play her song, Like Gold. This is by Angie Rose. Keep it locked right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Miss Jones on 108 Soul of Soul of New York. With the eyes of a city that I'll never see sleep I tried to never come alive from a vibe But this guy kept his eye on me I Don't you go dance around through my mind If you know we ain't stepping on the same time Acting like the guy that blew my mind <laughs> Oh, 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 oh Kick it when you looking like a whole snack Kick it if I was even with it, I'll back Kick it when you looking like a whole snack I was even with it, I'll back So do yourself a favor, baby, treat me like y'all y'all know what time it is it's time for me to shake the spot 
I want to thank all of my special guests that came on today. Comedian Kenny Wu for sharing his comedy and acting journey and helping me spill the tea. I also want to thank Elder Jackie Smith with those words of inspiration. And Stellar Award, Grammy Award nominated gospel recording artist Keith Satan sharing his new music. And of course, Dove Award nominated gospel rapper Angie Rose. Now, if you missed any part of the show today, you can check it out on my website, MissJonesProductions.com. It'll be out shortly on SoundCloud. You can also check it out on my new on my YouTube channel, Miss Jones Productions. And it will live forever on iHeartRadio and Google Podcasts. All you have to do is search for the Me and Miss Jones show. Now, you do not want to miss next week's show, y'all. We got a great show lined up for you. I got gospel recording artist Zach Landry that's going to be coming on. I got Bishop Greg Davis that's going to be coming on with words of inspiration. I got the cast and crew of my new movie that's coming out on October 27th, Bishop and Chaining. And I have two comedians coming on next week. I got comedian and actor Fudge the Comedian. Y'all probably have seen him in Wu-Tang the American Saga, that series. And I also have comedian Rio Paris. He just got finished taping his comedy special with Bob Sumner, y'all. So I got some great comedians coming on. So make sure that you tune in next week and every single Sunday from 8 to 10 a.m. Right here on the Me and Miss Jones show on 108 Soul, the soul of New York. In the meantime, in between time, go to my website, MissJonesProductions.com. You can also check me out on Facebook at Journalist Miss Jones and on Instagram at Miss Jones Productions so that you can see where I'll be performing some stand-up comedy or any other thing that I'm up to. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am going to be with Bishop Andre Banks for Into the Show. He has a new show that he has um, that he wants to showcase some of the new local artists. And he asked me to host. Of course, I'll do that. <laughs> but that's a closed event. You can come see me performing some live stand-up comedy at the Beauty Bar. That's in Manhattan. That's on Friday, 9.30 show. Nice and late. Get home. Get changed. Come on out. Have a good time. Friday night, 9.30. Beauty Bar. And then on Saturday, I'm hosting Trivia Night in Boston. That's also a private event, though. Y'all make sure if you're not doing anything this weekend, maybe tonight you can go out and see the new movie, Emmett Till. We definitely have to make sure we support that movie. You know, that was definitely pivotal in the civil rights movement. So go out and see that new movie, Emmett Till. And again, make sure on Tuesday that you're watching the Dove Awards, 8 p.m. TBN, going out and supporting my girl, gospel rapper Angie Rose. Up next is DJ Square. He's going to keep the inspirational thing going on. So make sure you keep it locked right here to 108 Soul, the soul of New York. And keep it locked here all day because you know we got that lineup Sunday best. We're going to go on out with some new music, y'all. This one is by Tony Bush and the Deeks. It's called Going With Jesus. It's that good quartet music. I have truly enjoyed being your host. My name is Miss Jones. They call me the beauty of comedy. Until next time, y'all holla and be easy. Y'all put your hands together like this. I'm going well, my Come to tell you, I'm going well. Daddy will be. I'm going to get my seat. That's prepared for me. I'm going well. My Jesus, Jesus. y'all like that? Let me see you clap your hands. I'm going well. My Jesus, Jesus. I'm going well. I come to tell you I'm going well Daddy will be I'm going to get my seat That's prepared for me I'm going well My Jesus Y'all Let's move I'm going well My Jesus Y'all clap with me I'm going my Jesus, Jesus is. Let's move a little 
further I'm going well Daddy will be I'm going well I'm going well Daddy will be I'm going to get my seat That's my path for me I'm going well Daddy will be I'm going to get my seat That's my path for me I'm going well Daddy will be I'm going to get my seat Let's move I'm going to see my aunt Uncle, sister I'm going to a place Y'all help me I said I'm going to see my aunt Sister Y'all are going well Let's move I'm going well Jesus Y'all help me tell somebody Help me tell them I'm going with Jesus Going with Jesus I'm going with Jesus He's been good to me y'all I'm going with Jesus When Jesus sees him Does anybody want to see him? Does anybody want to see him? I want to see the man That died for me And that died for you That stood on the cross For three long days He was there all night strong He was all night there Saturday But early Sunday morning My God got up With all power in his glory I come to tell somebody I come to tell somebody I'm going Let me tell somebody, I'm going with Jesus You can sit there and look at me funny But I know he's been so good I know he's been so kind 32 years old If I make it to Tuesday, I'll be 33 And that lets me know that God's been good to me You ought to wave your hands If he brought you from a mighty long way You ought to wave your hands If he lets you see the day while I still got breath, while I still got arms, while I still got legs, I'm gonna praise his name, cause he's been so good. I said 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 he's been so good. I'm going well. Jesus is Help me tell somebody, help them be tell I'm going with Jesus Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday Sunday morning I'm going I'm going with Dr. Jesus You can look at me like it's funny But he's been good to me He's been good to me Five surgeries later Doctor said I might not make it But I'm still here and it's by the grace of God You ought to wave your hands You ought to wave your hands You ought to wave your hands If you want to go with me I'm going well Can I do it again? Y'all help me, y'all help me sing I'm going with Jesus Can I come on down here with y'all? Can I come on down here? I feel like I'm working for a while Cause he's been so good I'm talking about Dr. Jesus The limit of the valley The bright and morning star My God's been so good My God's been so kind He's been a friend of mine He's been a friend of mine And while I still got you While I still got my mama While I still got you While I still got granny While I still got you While I got my sister While I still got you I got my niece I want to tell somebody That God's been good He's been good to me God's been good I'm going well Help me, y'all. I'm going with Jesus. I can't leave it alone, y'all. Cause when I was in the hospital, he didn't leave me alone. When I couldn't breathe on my own, he didn't leave me alone. But he healed my body so I could go home. Five years later, I'm doing better than I was. Five years later, I'm stronger than I ever been. Come to say I'm going well. You ought to help me, y'all, y'all, y'all. I'm going with Jesus. J E S U S J E S U S J E S U S. 
I'm going to tell you I'm going, I'm going.